Hey, what's up, guys? This is King Z, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to stealth um, the bank heist. So, uh, yeah, before you do this, there's a couple things you're gonna need, and this is for noobs too. So, uh, yeah, um, for skills, uh, you pretty much just want ECM specialist uh, and optical illusions ace. You can use suppressed weapon, unless you're fine with melee only, then that's fine too. Uh, uh, yeah, pretty much all you need is an ECM. This one isn't that hard. So, uh, yeah. Um, transporter helps with moving bags if you're going for all the loot. And, uh, portable saw if you want to saw all the deposit boxes open. But yeah, that's pretty much all you need is, uh, ECMs. And... Enforcer. You want transporter if you want to move bags. And portable saw if you want to saw open the, uh, deposit boxes. So, I like to use the, uh, car 4. Um... I have the short barrel, low profile suppressor, uh, no boost on it right now. You can put anything you want on it, like a concealment. Uh, team boost if you stealth a lot, get more experience. Um, no custom, competition full grip, no gadget, uh, straight grip, and thrust lower receiver. And the vintage mag. And I have the search and sight. You don't need the sight, I just don't like the iron sights. And then I have the uh, wide stock and LW upper receiver. Um, as a secondary, I like to use the judge just because uh, I can launch bodies and stuff to get them out of the way. So you don't gotta worry about them getting spotted by cameras. You can use whatever uh, thing you want though on this one. Doesn't really matter. Cross kill's nice. I just like how it looks. Uh, yeah, you can pretty much use any pistol. Um, melee doesn't matter. I just go with the knife because I like it. Um, yeah, and uh, if you press a lot of buttons on accident, then you should probably go for the uh, Ace of Spades or Javelin so you don't accidentally throw a grenade and alert everybody. Um, I also go with the Rogue Perk deck. Uh, on this heist, it doesn't really matter what you use. You can go for a uh, Burglar. Whatever. Uh, I just like Rogue. Uh, so yeah. Let's just get into this heist. Um, I look for the gold since it gives the most money. Alright, whenever I'm doing a solo and uh, pre-planning, I like to take um, body bags so I can, if I have to kill somebody outside, then I don't have to worry about people walking by and then calling the cops. So yeah, I like to place uh, body bags around. Um, I'll take, uh, usually a key Your card for being and put that at the bank tellers, so, cause it's easy to grab. And I like to That's take how the I fault key, too. so I don't have to drill an extra gate. And it doesn't really matter, you can buy one of these or just leave them. So, uh... Yeah, that's uh, what I do in pre-planning when I'm playing solo. If you're playing with four people, then you shouldn't have a problem with anything. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. We call the bank. So when you first come in, okay. uh, the, the first the thing you're going to want to do is look for where the vault is. If you need to spawn in the front here, and it's not there, Be cool. or in the back. I, 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 and make sure you don't walk I'll too close to the, the guards, or you'll you get in. instantly spotted. So the vault is back here, this is the easy vault, and the uh, security room is right here. So the first thing we're going to do is check out the cameras. So there's a key card right here. Uh, one will usually spawn there, or the manager will have one. But if it doesn't spawn there, the manager has it. But if you don't want to look for the alert. manager, there he is right there. Guard. Then uh, that's what the key card we bought in pre-planning is for. So we're going to go ahead and mask up here. Okay, going in. We're gonna take out the camera guy. Freaked out by a pigeon. You don't let go of your sky. button. It's happened to me a couple times. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna wait for the guards to go into a place where we can kill them without them being seen. Um, so around this area is nice to kill them. And uh, back by the key card is nice to kill them. Be cool. As long as another guard doesn't uh, walk back there. Go back there right now. 
<coughs> so the cameras won't splash you now that you got the security room out. Yeah. And now we just wait for a guard to come to a location where we can kill him. You can take those guys out if you want to, they don't really matter. Gotta be patient waiting for these guards. If you can't spot them, go to the cameras and just spam uh, click until you get all of them highlighted. Oh, manager coming. Oh, get him down. Check. On your face. I see you took a Follow me. You can drop a key. Oh. That's a really good place to kill a guard too. In this little room right here. Oh, I'm pretty bugged out right now. Oh, what sucks is if another guard walks in here while you're into the page. That's always bad. Yeah, even if you mess up like I did right there, it's easy to recover on this one. So if you kill a guard inside, uh, you want to back the corpse. Oh, yeah, it's a guard, guard watch. There. It. <laughs> Should be able to make it a fine just cross without getting spotted by any sieves. So I click this guy. I put him back. Gobs. And now we have both guards over here. It's a guard, watch it. He should be coming. Okay. It's a guard, stay back. Since he's over here. I can launch him into that corner, but that's kind of risky. Uh, be chill. Let's see, just launch him over here with the Not judge. Much the way it oh shit. Oh, okay, never mind. This game's just broken. Alright, so he's out. we we'll bag him up. Uh, keep an eye out for the other guard. Here he is, Gosh. right there. So we're gonna do the same thing to him, but I'm gonna take out those two civilians just in case. Actually, now we're good. Thought I heard something, but nope. <laughs> Actually, I don't know why it keeps doing that, but it's whatever. Um, so yeah, this is all the guards down now, so now all we have to do is drill into the vault. The vault in the front is a little harder to get to, because this one, we don't have to worry about the front people, we just gotta worry about this guy. Pretty much. And uh, So yeah, once we have uh, these people down, uh, we're pretty much good to drill. Lie down. No civilian casualties, remember? <laughs> so I'm gonna start drilling this, then I'll teach you guys how to take over the uh, um, front room, just in case you have the vault over there. Okay, great. <coughs> I've got that thing to the vault door. Pick up some extra body bags here. So you want to look for uh, which side the door is open to these people, or in this little room, it could be either right here or over there. If it's over there, just go around the back and then come in through there. But what you're going to do now is just place the ECM and charge in, kill these two, because they'll hit the button, and just get everybody in here down. Uh, you might have to kill some, since uh, we don't have enough cable ties for everybody since we're playing solo. So, uh, make sure you get everyone down. Kill them if you need to. Uh, you'll make all your money your back face. that you get from killing these guys. You lose from the How about you get down? So yeah, and now we have an extra ECM to open the ATM. And since this guy's outside, we'll put him in a bag and bring him in here. So now anyone walking by won't uh, see what's going on in here. We don't have to worry about anybody uh, getting spotted and calling the cops. So yeah, this is pretty much the boring part. Uh, so uh, yeah, you're just gonna drill, uh, open up this ATM, you have the extra ECM. You only need one. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Ours. One thing I like about bank jobs is the instant gratification. Good work. 